Well, what a complex wintry weather event we've been dealing with here in Central Maryland here on this Saturday. Most locations didn't see anything this morning. As you looked out your window, you're probably quite disappointed. No snow on the ground, and that's because the dry air did win out, but the precipitation is now moving back into the region. Winter weather advisory is now in effect through 7 p.m. on Saturday in the purple zone. Cecil County, Kent, Queen Anne's, as well as Caroline and Anne Arundel County is not included in this, and that's where the impacts are relatively few to minor in those locations. Highest impact still north and west of the city. That's where we'll see the most concerns with ice, and that's where we saw a little bit of snow this morning, and we're still seeing some snow right now. But the ice potential is the biggest overall. If you do have snow on the ground, it's going to go away pretty quickly once that sleet and freezing rain and just plain old rain fall on top of that as the actual wintry threat now returns to the area. Through about 4 o'clock, that's when we're on the lookout for that wintry precipitation as the temperatures start to moderate between 4 and 7. We change to rain here in the city. It's still an icy mix north and west and then all of this gets out of here after about 7 o'clock tonight. So there goes that thump. We have rain out in West Virginia. We're still dealing with what we call a cold air wedge across the region as that scrubs out and the temperatures moderate will change from the frozen stuff to the liquid stuff as we get into the rest of this afternoon. So now, through about 3 o'clock, still looking at that wintry precipitation, and that's because temperatures are still close to freezing, especially north and west of the city. Parked in Westminster, Thermont, back up towards Bel Air, but notice in moderation, once we get closer to dinner time, it's all rain for most, and then by 8, 9 o'clock, we lose all the precipitation, it's gone, it's out of here with temperatures warming into the 40s. So rising temps tonight, courtesy of that southwesterly breeze, slick spots north and west with temperatures closer to freezing, gust upwards of 30 miles per hour tomorrow morning, highs right around 40 but falling throughout the day, we'll end up at 32 for Martin Luther King Day, still pretty breezy, with highs only in the 30s Tuesday and Wednesday before moderating again, with showers returning by this time next weekend with highs in the 50s. Remember, you can download our free mobile app at WMAR2 News, available at the Apple and Google Play Store, or look us up at WMAR2News.com, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest weather and news updates. I'm meteorologist Eric Taylor.